Hey guys, Yvonne here at YvonneMana.com and in this video I want to show you how to create a tracking link with ClickMagic. So let's get straight into it. This is the page that we want to promote. This was a page we created in Unbound. Check out my other video on how to do that. And here we are in our ClickMagic account. So we're going to click on links here at the top and then we're going to click on create link and we are just going to fill in the blanks. So the first thing you will have to do is select the group. Now this is optional if you want to keep organized. So I already have a bunch of groups here, okay? Don't worry too much about it. Uh, you don't have to add anything in groups, but if you do want to do that, click on tools, click on group manager, and add some groups there. It's really easy, okay? Now I have this group called blank group. So we're gonna leave it at that. The next thing we're gonna do is enter a link name. Now this field is optional, so if you don't enter anything in here, uh, ClickMagic is going to automatically generate a name for you, but obviously if you want to keep yourself organized, it's a good practice to add the name in there. So in this case, we're promoting, you know, this is a video that I made on how to promote affiliate products on Google Ads. So let's say uh, affiliate on Google Ads. Let's make that the name of our link. And we can choose our domain here. So we have a few, uh, we have a few domains here. Uh, I will create another video on how to set up a secure custom domain. But in the meantime, you can leave it at clkmg.com. And this is your username here. Yvonne is my username in this case. And that's what your tracking link is going to look like once we create the link, okay? So leave it at that for now. And now we have to enter a link slug, which is also optional. So what the link slug does is it's kind of, it's an addition at the end of your link. So in this case, our tracking link will become clkmg.com slash Yvonne slash blank, whatever you put in here. So in our case, maybe we can say F Google ads. Now, depending on where you promote this, people might not see this full link, clkmg.com, okay? So like if you're promoting on Microsoft ads, check out my Microsoft ads and ClickMagic tutorial, your link will not be seen, okay? In which case it doesn't really matter what you put here. But again, it's a good practice to put in something good just in case. Uh, next, we're gonna enter the primary URL. So this is where we want to redirect our link to. So it's going to be this product, okay? So we're gonna take the final URL here, we're gonna copy it, go back into ClickMagic. Um, so what this is trying to tell you is if you're trying to promote on Google Ads, make sure that you're using ClickMagic campaigns, okay? So I have a video on how to set up campaigns there. Check that video out because if you have a landing page, and or if you're trying to promote on Google Ads, it's it's best if you use campaigns, not tracking links. Google doesn't like tracking links, okay? So we're gonna delete that and we're gonna paste this here. And that's pretty much it, okay? So we'll click on create link. And that is it for our tracking link, okay? It's just as easy as that. So now if we want to promote, what we do is we simply, we can copy this link or we can preview it right here. And if we open a new window and we paste the link right there, we click next we're gonna be redirected to this page, okay? And if we refresh this page, we're gonna see one total click and one unique click, okay? So that's one click coming from a separate IP, and this is how many clicks, regardless of it's, if it's from the same person or not, total click. If you want more information about all these stats, check this question mark icon up, or check out my ClickMagic playlist. I have about 50 plus videos right now on every different part, so check that out. I'll put the link up above again. Uh, now, just one more thing. I did want to cover. Uh, first of all, don't worry about these tabs here. They are optional. And if you are looking for anything in specific, just write down in the comments below what you're looking for and I'll see if I should make a video on it if there's, uh, you know, if there's any questions on that topic. Uh, but I also wanted to show you that you don't have to actually own the website. So in this case, this is our website that we created. You don't have to do that. So if we head over to click bank here, and these are all products we don't own, right? Unless you are watching this and you created one of these. If we click on promote and we generate hoplink, for example, if we want to promote this product, we can copy it, either control C or, or clicking this option here, head over into ClickMagic and we can create a new link or if we want, we can just replace this one, okay? So I just wanted to show you that you can use any link you want to, even products that you don't control. So for example, let's replace this link just to show you as an example. So if we want to promote this product now and we click on save changes, Let's see what that's going to do. So if we click on this link, if we click preview, it's now taking us to this page. Okay, that's that page that um, I showed you right here. 
And that is it. That is how you create a tracking link. Let me know if you have any questions about any specific part. I will be covering custom tracking domain in the next video so that instead of clkmg.com, you can have something like this, woodworkingmethods.com, all right? So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.